In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. Now I'm going to show you two methods of how to do this. So in the first half of this video, we're going to use long division. In the second half, I'm going to show you a method that I like to use. And so you can pick and choose which method you prefer to use. So let's start with something simple, 7 over 4. How can we convert that improper fraction into a mixed number? So let's divide. How many times does 4 go into 7? 4 goes into 7 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. And then we need to subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. So how do we take that information and write it as a mixed number? So the first thing is this number. That's going to be the whole number. And so it's going to go out in front. Our remainder will be the numerator. And then the denominator will stay the same. So whatever number you get here, this is going to be the whole number. And the remainder will always be the numerator of the mixed fraction. And whatever you see here, that's going to be the denominator of the fraction. And so 7 over 4 is 1 and 3 fourths. Let's try another example. 13 over 6. You can try this if you want to. So how many times does 6 go into 13? 6 goes into 13 2 times. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18, which exceeds 13. 13 minus 12 is 1. And so we can write our answer as 2 and 1 over 6. So this is the whole number. And the remainder is the numerator of the mixed number. Now here are two examples that you can try. 21 over 2 and 35 over 12. Feel free to pause the video and work on those example problems. So let's start with the first one, which I'm going to do on the right side. How many times does 2 go into 21? 2 goes into 21 10 times. 2 times 10 is 20, and 21 minus 20 is 1. So the answer is going to be 10 and 1 over 2. Now what about the last one? How many times does 12 go into 35? 12 times 3 is 36, so that's too much. So it's 2. 12 times 2 is 24. And 35 minus 24 is 11. So the answer is going to be 2, 11 over 12. So now let's get these same answers using another technique. So let's start with 7 over 4. So what I like to do is break down 7 into two numbers, one of which is divisible by 4. So 7 is 4 plus 3. Now the denominator has to be the same when doing this. So we could say that 7 over 4 is basically 4 over 4 plus 3 over 4, because 4 plus 3 is 7. Next divide, 4 over 4 is 1. So we have 1 plus 3 fourths, which is the same as 1 and 3 fourths. And so that is a simple technique in which you can convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. Now let's work on the second example, which was 13 over 6. 12 is divisible by 6. So I'm going to break down 13 over 6 as 12 over 6 plus 1 over 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And so 2 plus 1 over 6 is 2 and 1 6. As you can see, this technique, if you master it, it can help you to quickly convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now let's try our last two examples. 21 over 2 and 35 over 12. So 21, I can break that into 20 and 1. You want to choose the highest multiple of 2 that is just under 21. Now 20 divided by 2 is 10, so I get 10 plus a half, which is 10 and 1 half. Now for this one, 
multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48. But we want to uh, use the highest multiple of 12 that's just under 35. And so the highest multiple of 12 is 24. 35 minus 24 is 11. So we have this. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So you get 2 plus 11 over 12, which means the answer is 2 11 twelfths.